Uh, so today I'm going to try to continue along with this theme. What I'm going to try and do is to give you little tidbits for what I call getting out of your mind. Uh, again, my definition of the mind is that little voice inside your head. Uh, it takes a lot of learning to live in your mind, uh, to learn fear, tiredness, anger, sadness. Uh, we come onto the planet not knowing those things. And we pretty much have to look and see how to... We don't have to do anything. <laughs> okay, nobody has to do anything. If you're curious how to live outside of that beast, uh, the reptilian brain, the mind that uh, connects the dots, that chases you all around, uh, one of the things that we have done for years, uh, if we're working on a team, we have team meetings, if things aren't going the way we want them to, we stop the world and have a team meeting to see if we can get the team in alignment, if we can, if things are happening that are not conducive to the way we want them to be happening, then we will take uh, a few minutes and stop the world and see if we can move, uh, just alter how things are going at that point in time. Uh, after this Zen retreat, one of the things, uh, when we were finished, uh, this master said, okay, don't read much, don't, not on Zen anyway, not on uh, Enlightenment, not on Buddhism, so of course I got home and a couple of days later realized I had picked up my Alan Watts books and was reading on Zen. Uh, wait a minute, my instruction was not to read this for a few months. Because uh, I, I think what he was asking was, don't try to figure this out. And that's what I've said for years, people who do my work. Don't try to figure out the process. Don't try to see if you can see how to do it. Just live your life and live it fully. But one of the things he said is, you know, sit quietly a couple of times a day. And uh, a good question is, who is having this experience right now? And I take that to look, uh, it's, if you look at the charts that I've, uh, that I have on a website that are an adaptation of Martin Sage's web uh, charts. Uh, between the enculturated world, or the antiquated uh, thinking world, the world of the mind, and the pristine operating system, the one that you came right, uh, running on, there's a world, and there, in between there's anxiety, doubt, curiosity, and how they pushed us out into the pristine operating system in the Zen thing was by cultivating doubt. And then what they ask you to do is sit quietly a couple of times a day and just ask, who is having this experience? Now, some people don't give a shit. I know about that. But somehow I've been blessed or cursed with this uh, chasing this curiosity. And by stopping every so often and asking a question like that, like I was uh, in the sea the other day. Anyway, I'm going to just keep these right about three minutes. We're at three minutes. And... Uh, uh, we'll give you an example of what happened the other day that took me out into curiosity, out into sensation, out of my head. 